again out of storage. Uh, okay, might have some storage out here. This is a constant problem with storages uh, with our new iPhones and iPads is that even though we buy a 256 gigs iPad, we still run out of storage. So why don't you guys uh, today, uh, I show you a way that you can get away with this and you do not need to upgrade a phone because a new iPhone again is going to cost you thousand bucks. The products that I'm going to show you today is a way is you can buy it on Best Buy or Amazon, whichever place you want, you shop. Um, honest opinion, honest reviews. We are not going to rig this or anything. I picked out two different products that might help you to move or transfer across your devices. So for example, you're using an iPad, you're using um, an iPhone, you can use on that. So let's go ahead and jump in. So already guys, uh, as you can see right now, my that iPad is only having uh, 3.8 gigs of storage left out of the 32 gigs. And then my iPhone, if I can turn this on, uh, we are going to go to general about um, I'm having around about 4.77 gigs left uh, in my storage. So which means that even if you're upgrading, so this is 64, this is 32, I'm still getting out of storage. Hence, I got two devices for you. And this uh, connect, it's a Wi-Fi enabled uh, flash drive and it's 64 gigs. Uh, you can transfer everything via wireless. You do not connect and need to connect anywhere. And after that, you can take to your uh, computer and you just open this up and you just plug this in in your computer that will be pretty much it and uh, the second device that we got is uh, mtech connect now the mtech connect is very interesting because um, it has a lightning connection out here so which means that um, when you take your phone you can actually plug this at the lightning port at the back and uh, you can use this as a transfer mechanism 32 gigs and uh, this is 64 gigs so let's go ahead and begin how it works so at first I got my iPhone, as you can see right now, I have only 4.77 gigs left. So uh, we are going to use uh, this guy, which is the SanDisk MTech Connect, or uh, this is called actually MTech Connect. SanDisk has their own version of it. You can check that out. I'll link that in the description below. So let's go ahead and try this out. Uh, go to the App Store and uh, download the app called MTech Connect. I will show you how the app looks. So this is the app, it's called MTech Connect. And after that, uh, just pop in the drive. It's as simple as that, it's plug and play. So you pop the drive in. And after some time, you will see that it shows uh, embedded storage on it. So as you can see that the available storage on this one is 20 gigs. So this is how you're going to transfer. So at first you go to your videos. So if you want to transfer videos and you can see whatever is there on the MTech, but you can go to iPhone, so click on that. So the list will be showing what is there on your iPhone. So I have got 370 kind of videos out here. So I'm just going to select any one of them, which is uh, going to be this guy. And uh, I'm going to transfer this device, uh, transfer this to the device, okay? So um, let's go ahead and select. So click multi-select from the top. And uh, we're going to select this one. And then we are going to select copy to and we'll go to external storage and select YouTube or whichever folder you guys make and just paste it out there. He was saying that it takes around about five to six minutes. Usually the transfer is pretty far, like pretty fast compared to anything else. And it shows up that the transfer is complete. Now, um, I've got a lot of other videos saved out here so you can check whatever the videos and stuff is out there. I just uh, defocused a bit so that you don't see my personal data and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so all my videos and everything is inside this one. Uh, very useful tool to connect and to disconnect it, you just take it out and that's perfectly fine. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check this guy out. This is a SanDisk uh, Ultra Connect kind of a, a flash drive and this will this has got inbuilt battery and you can charge this and it is has it has actually a Wi-Fi built in, which means that now you can wirelessly transfer uh, all of your stuff to your new iPad or your iPhone. So let's check this out. Okay, so the SanDisk uh, Connect is uh, a little bit different compared to uh, compared to our MTech Connect, uh, which we had out here, uh, because it has inbuilt battery. So the first things first you gotta do is that uh, you're gonna turn this and there is a small button out here. 
and you just have to press this for and press and hold this make sure you guys are charging this before you so you have to charge this at least for like uh, I think uh, half an hour to an hour uh, and after that you see it charged uh, you will see there is a small light uh, coming up out here and then uh, from there uh, you guys have to go to your uh, Wi-Fi settings and head over to your Wi-Fi settings which is going to be in your settings obviously uh, by the way the things that I'm showing you works for iOS I have not tested out uh, Android phones so it should work on Android they say that it's uh, this one actually works for Android the other one is strictly iOS um, and then you go to Wi-Fi and you will see that it's already connected to my uh, SanDisk okay because I pre-selected this but it will be looking exactly like this okay so let's get out of that and open up the app the app is called uh, SanDisk Connect Drive so I have uh, opened that up and after that you will see that all the photos and everything I have made folders so if you go to the videos it shows all the videos that I had previously saved because I archive all my YouTube footages uh, on this tiny drive because I always run out of storage so for example uh, you want to add anything to this so go ahead and uh, it's going to show you everything so I'm going to select this one so you can select multiple items like this or uh, I will select only this and then select destination so you click select destination and then you can scroll down to video because of what I selected was video and I can just randomly drop it out here uh, because I didn't have any designated space now if you're comparing speed this will take a little bit more time compared uh, to this guy because uh, this is a physical transfer while this uses Wi-Fi direct so if you have bigger files like I'm having like this one is like 172.3 megabytes it's gonna take a little bit of more time but then again you need don't need to connect or anything so which makes it kind of hassle free but kind of you know frustrating that you have to wait for a long time so we'll let this finish so I'd pause the recording it's already been five minutes and uh, 170 gigs is taking 170 megs it's not even gigs uh, it's taking a hell of a lot of time to transfer uh, from my phone to this device so probably a good device to transfer pictures but for high quality videos this probably is not at all a good option to transfer because it takes a lot of time as you can see right now I've been waiting for like five minutes already and nothing is getting transferred uh, so my biggest recommendation will be something like this SanDisk also sells like this uh, so that physical transfer is always faster than a Wi-Fi direct alrighty finally after 10 minutes uh, everything got transferred it's 170 megs <laughs> this did it like maybe 60 seconds it took 10 to 15 minutes to do a wireless transfer um, so that's go there you go in front of you guys if you want something wireless you can go ahead for this not that i vouch for this one because it's again in front of you the transfer was pretty pretty long uh, i would say definitely something like this uh, which is a wired one and you can connect this and let it go and keep it in your pocket Alrighty, guys so there you go uh, two devices to transfer storages from uh, one is a sandisk mtech connect and uh, the other one is actually way way more faster compared to this guy um, definite recommendation will be this mtech connect or a, a sandisk kind of uh, thing which has a uh, lightning adapter to it uh, links will be in the description below if you like this video give me a big big thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel why because out in this channel we always present honest opinions we buy our own stuff and present it in the channel thank you take care